Hey, so today I wanted to come and participate in the Brett's Dow Challenge. I haven't saw Brett's Dow in forever. My daughter had so many of them when she was growing up. So anyways, I know they were probably discontinued because I haven't saw them in a while. <laughs> but nonetheless, I thought I would hop on and try to. Ah! So let's see. It's all in good fun, you know. I haven't played in makeup either, so this is a good way to play in some makeup. I'm gonna be pulling out uh, my new palette, my Huda Beauty palette. It is so beautiful, look at it. This is how it looks. This is the rose gold palette. I just brung it, I'm not quite sure which way I'm gonna go with this look. I really can't see too, too much of her um, makeup brows are pretty and narrow so they're very thin so I'm just gonna go ahead and start with the brows that's pretty much how I always start makeup looks off uh, I haven't played in real makeup in so long so I'm excited to be here playing in makeup I know I had a few requests to do some makeup items or some makeup things so I'm coming back with it so I'm just gonna use a little spoolie brush over my brows and then just pick up I usually use max spike I'm going to use a darker brow because hers are pretty dark and thin here. So I'm going to go ahead and. Alrighty, this is the pencil I'm going to reach for. You definitely can find these Dollar Tree anywhere, but this is an Estee Lauder um, pencil and it's a crayon pencil in dark brunette. <laughs> oh, that's so dark. <laughs> I'm not going to put too much um, curve like I normally on my like everyday brow or whatever um, because hers is pretty like just there. <laughs> Keep moving. I'm gonna go ahead and start on the eyes. I'm gonna take this pretty thick concealer that's here and go ahead and use this as my um, base. Just using my finger helps it to warm it up. All right, now that I have my eyes Prom. <laughs> I look kind of scary. <laughs> oh goodness. I want to use this um, chocolate bar palette because I love the transition color. Mousse, which is this, is a really nice brownie color. I'm going to go ahead and start blending it out and then we'll go ahead and do layers. I'm going to go ahead and just use this little brushes from MAC, but just any kind of fluffy brush. This is a 286 and I'm going to go ahead and start blending it out here. So that's our first layer. Let me zoom in and see what else she has. Her eyes are pretty like espresso type colors. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and put MAC Nick, um, Naked Pigment. This MAC um, Naked Pigment. It's a really nice everyday color as well. Now that I have that in my inner tear duct, I'm going to go ahead and start layering. I'm going to put a um, peanut butter is the next color that I'm going to grab for. So the, you can see the difference, which is layering on color. I'm going to put a little bit more over here. It looks pretty, pretty blended to me. All right, so let's go ahead and add a little more color. And 
it looks like hers is um it goes from a lighter here to like a espresso chocolate coffee color so for that it i'm gonna go ahead and take truffled which is a darker brown which is here yeah Now I'm gonna go in with a different blending brush to blend out the color with this really light color called Bear. Right here, just to blend out that harsh edge up there. I don't want that to be dark up there. All right, I'm pretty much have the makeup on. I'm gonna go back and add some lid color, but I'm gonna go ahead and take some liquid liner now. That is pretty much what's on her lid, and it's come pretty far in to here where I started the concealer. I'm gonna attempt to <laughs> get my line as straight as possible. All right, that, that's how she has wing, and then she has a liner coming over here. I can't see the end point of this line, so I'm just making it up as I go, because I can't see her the way she's turned in the picture. I'm gonna use liquid out of the, um, the chocolate bar palette. A pointy brush, uh, I don't even know, eco tool brush and um, just to find the line a little bit. And the rest of it, I'm gonna go ahead and put the black at the bottom of my, un my lash line at the bottom. with a little bit of this burgundy. Um, in the Huda Beauty palette, um, I'm putting this color right there on here. All right, I'm gonna go in with a wipe and clean up all the foul outs and try to get everything cleaned up. I'm gonna go ahead and put some lashes on and we will be a breath today. All right, now I'm going to let this glue dry and then I'll go back and put mascara on the bottom lash. I'm gonna just really quickly, cause she doesn't have too much on her face. I'm gonna put my tinted moisturizer. I'm not gonna even use the foundation. Um, put this on and her face is really highlighted. So I'm just gonna put a lot of matte, um, a lot of concealer at the bottom and blend it out. She doesn't have a lot going on. It's just really like bright and luminous. So that's the look that I'm gonna go for. This is what I, I don't ever do this part. <laughs> this is too much, but this is definitely a breast style right here. She's super highlighted, baby. <laughs> okay, so we're at the lip part. I've been trying to overdraw my lips. I have pretty full lips already. So I don't know how I'm gonna do this. <laughs> These are her lips. So 
So I'm just gonna get, I'm using MAC pencils and I'm trying to overdraw my lips a little bit. I think this is too brownie, so maybe I'm trying to find a readier color. People, people do this often, overdraw their lips all the time. They do it on purpose, they make the lips look bigger. Won't you sing out your frustration? Just say a word. Keep on staring at the it was a fun challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging and rocking out as I transform myself as best as I could into a Bratz doll. So much fun. I had a good time. I hope you guys are enjoying this as well. I'll speak to you guys very soon. Bye for now.